abstract the electronic commerce is the process of doing business through computer networks a person sitting on his car in front of a computer can access all the facilities of internet to buy or sell the products unlike traditional commerce that is carried out physically with the effort of a person to go and get products e-commerce had made it simpler and easier for human to reduce physical work and to save time e-commerce which was started in early 1990 has taken a great leap in the world of computers but the fact that hindered the growth of e-commerce is security security is the challenge facing e-commerce today and there is still lot of advancement made in the field of security the main advantage of e-commerce over traditional commerce is the user can browse online shops compare prices and order merchandise sitting in the at home in the pc introduction electronic commerce or e-commerce is a term for any type of business or commercial transaction that involves the transfer of information across the internet there are mainly three types of e-commerce business to business such as website like shopify second business to consumer such as websites like amazon flipkart third consumer to consumer website like ebay in order to capture your audience and make your sale your e-commerce website needs to be updated from next slide my friend parichita will be coming good evening sir good evening everyone so next i will discuss about the elements that should be present in a good e-commerce website the first point that counts is the customer experience it is the primary element of an e-commerce website to be focused upon nearly 74% of businesses consider it important in improving sales and the bottom line revenue the next point is the back end integration users get bored of a website very easily if it doesn't run seamlessly taking too much time to load or being unable to process a given request are serious back end problems which make an e-commerce website lose its customers then uh, the next point is digital marketing digital marketing strategy and advertisement is equally important because even if even with the great set of products even if the digital marketing fails then customers will not get interested in it and the e-commerce website will not run the next point is that our website should be user friendly the website has to be user friendly otherwise customers will not be attracted to it category should be category should be self explanatory the search bar that is present in our website should be easy to find and quickly list all the applicable items which are currently available for the sale next point point number 5 the shopping cart and the checkout processes the shopping cart should be easily available customers have this in mind to check the shopping cart regularly while shopping other items so it should be easily accessible and the checkout process should be really simple complex design for complex back end integration will affect our website the next point is mobile compatibility since most of the users have mobiles nowadays they tend to use the mobiles for online shopping and online accessibility of products so the website should be accessible from mobile phones the next point is calls to action or cta our customers should be given our first priority uh the customer should be able to make calls or we should be able to help them by anywhere if our website has to run then it should be customer friendly and it should help the customers as the required it good evening everybody everybody my name is pallavi so the eighth element is images and description so if a customer wants to buy a product online then it's very important to have professional quality images of the products displayed in multiple and various angles it is also important to describe the items in detail uh, and cover all the aspects including size texture uses and colors etc next the shipment delivering the product safely on times is an important aspect failing to meet expectation can collapse the business and can hamper the reputation of an e-commerce enterprise thus shipment method requires great discipline 
and automation to maintain higher uh, amount of orders. No, 10th. 10th uh, is supply chain management. It comprises of various activities like, uh, like coordination, scheduling, uh, inventory management and delivery of the product to end users. Everything is tough to handle alone. So it is important to work in association with the other organization in their supply chain for success. And the last is warehousing. This is the place where the organization stores and maintains the product. Uh, next yeah. we will be continuing. Customer support. Some short, um, short of customer support we need in case problem or question. They are several different of customers such as 800 members for email support or online chat. We be based choice in your developing type of business is of friendly response of timely manner of the resolve any issues to keep your customer happy. So security and privacy. Pri <coughs> privacy. So last but is not least is security to make sure you have uh, you have an existing certificate instant in print and data coming going on the browser to every website or e-commerce is not have anyone to the transparent privacy policy with the customer with the information you site owned by other company. Conclusion for any e-commerce site it needs to only placing in the eye but the stress of free shopping. We will be developing online store of the negative along with uh, with uh, with sales uh, checkout process only drive with the customer experience your business or every online store if, uh, with any different type of there is no final interface solution because in the consider of any company any needs basis or important future so to make a good uh, uh, good e-commerce website. Because of always remember uh, to the integrate them into your design. Number one, e-commerce uh, website design should be clear and simply. Um, customer should feel, feel comfortable in your website. In the negative, should be clear or easy operator for any information easily available. So next, you should provide specific details about any products, uh, any product, any pictures, description, videos, and zoom, and uh, there are more detail gets, uh, details user get in um, more likely than are uh, to pursue at a product. Then reference. So number one question: Which one of the following is not one the major type of e-commerce? So uh, answer C to B: Customer to business uh, because of customer are uh, uh, any customer uh, to business any product uh, we will be services to be very free. so next uh, next next question is which segment do ebay amazon.com belong so ebay amazon.com belong to b2c segment uh, the term business to consumer refers to the process of selling products and services directly between consumers who are the end users of its product or services. That's why it will be a B2C segment. Next, I'll pass. The next question is, the primary source of financing during the early years of e-commerce was, the answer is venture capital funds. Venture capital funds is a sum of money that investors commit for investment in early stage companies. These investments are generally characterized as very high risk or high return opportunities. Next question. Next question is which is not a function of ERP? Answer will be none of these. Enterprise resource planning, ERP is a method of using computer technology to link various functions such as accounting, inventory controls and human resources across the entire company. However, there are certain things that we need to consider in ERP to enhance the business process. Thank you. Thank you. Very good presentation. Thank you all. I'll make a YouTube video. If